Team, what is good, man? We're doing coming through with another settings video, something slight for real, something crazy. New, new crazy settings that are making me build like this. I mean, who's doing it like me for real? All right, before we jump into the video, though, listen, I'd appreciate if you guys use my code. I do have one in the item shop now. It's literally just SR3. Super simple, nothing crazy. It's free to type in. That's all you gotta do, and it supports me a ton. Now, I'll stop yapping and let's just jump into the video, all right? First things first, as you probably noticed, the cinch controller is gone, man. It's gone. We're no longer using cinch. I know, I know. The controllers looked amazing. They felt nice, but that is just not what we're on anymore. I'm using a controller that I feel like is way more comfortable for me in the way that I play and just like the way I use four paddles mainly. That's that's one of the biggest things is finding a controller you can use paddles comfortably on if you do play paddles, that is. So we are using a Scuff Instinct Pro. Nothing crazy going on with it. Not too nice. It doesn't look too crazy. Four paddles on the back. Mouse click triggers. You know, it feels really nice. I've, I've been using this controller for a little while now. If you guys are in the streams, you probably see it on stream all the time. If you if you guys don't see it on stream, you know, make sure you guys go follow the Twitch, bro. Link link is down below, all right? Link is down below. Go follow, go follow up, man. And then, of course, I have my scroll wheel, as always. This thing does not leave my side. You know the scroll. I mean, if you haven't seen it already, bro, I mean, just look at this thing, bro. Just... Look at it, look at it, look. If you're not using that, I don't know. It's way better than that reset garbage that's in the game, bro. It's just way better. Plus, I can use it for scroll wheel pickup and a lot of other things. So, make sure you guys go cop one of those. The link for it will be down in the description. You guys can use my code and save yourself some money. Just use code SR3 at checkout, man. Save yourself a little bit of money, and it supports me. It supports me while you're getting something that's good for you. You know what I'm saying? If I'm trying to fight someone and they go for a shot, bam, they can't hit me no more. Just like I'm on keyboard, man. I might as well be a keyboard player at this point. Wait, am I? Anyways, let's just jump into the settings. I know what you guys are waiting for. All the graphics, the digital digital vibrance, like everything. I know you guys want to see it all, so let's just jump right into it. All right, you guys want to know how I get solid 360 FPS. These are the settings I'm using, all right? These graphics settings is what's making me get 360 FPS, all right? I just got a 360 hertz monitor. Feels amazing. So let's go through them, all right? I'm on native res right now. I have not been playing stretch, have not been enjoying it at all. I lock my frame rate in the game files to 357. Don't ask why. It's just a me thing. You know what I'm saying? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. You do you. You do you. You know what I'm saying? Brightness 100. I don't use this user or whatever. I don't know what's going on here. Colorblind, none of it. We don't use none of it, okay? 3D res, I have it at 95%. So when you have it a little bit lower than 100, you get less input delay and it feels absolutely insane. Way too good, way too smooth. Medium view distance, low textures, low meshes, show FPS on, normal stuff, normal stuff. I have 65 ping. I, I'm moving like that on 65 ping. Don't even worry about it, guys. I'm just going to kind of scroll through these settings here. Not too much going on. Go through preferred item slots, you know, shotgun first, SMG second, AR last, normal controller stuff. Auto sort consumables, always reset building choice. I recently turned off my pre-edits. I haven't liked it as much recently. It just hasn't felt good for me, but I might, I might go back. You never know. But just basic settings here, nothing too crazy. Make sure you guys turn these two settings at the bottom off. It'll give you way less input delay in the game. I know this isn't like an input delay video, but make sure you turn these off, man. You don't want your game to feel like awful. Going through the HUD now, I use like basically every single thing on the reticle. I'm not going to lie. Max scale, on, on, list, and hitting icons. Hitting icons look super good to me. I think it looks amazing. I like seeing when I'm hitting people for shield and hitting headshots with a little exclamation point. I think it looks sick. Uh, HUD scale is at 80, something really small, nothing crazy. Don't use gyro settings. If you're using gyro settings, please quit the game. Don't don't log on anymore. It's not worth it. Unless there's a specific reason you're using gyro settings, you know, don't don't use them, okay? Do not. We will have to fight. Please do not use these settings. Thank you. I'm not going to fight you guys. My keyboard and mouse settings, might as well go through them. I do play keyboard sometimes. I'll, I'll even use the mouse for it. Screw it. Uh, I recently lowered my sense 3.1, 3.1. This is on 1600 DPI, by the way. And then uh, building and editing sense 115. This I normally turn on both of these on. And then I have, these are my little uh, double movement right here. You know what I'm saying? Now, this is the long awaited controller settings right here. This little tab up top is what you guys have been waiting for this whole time. Let's just, let's just go into them real quick. Let's, oh my, oh my God, what's going on in here? What is going on, man? Edit hold time, 0 0.01. This doesn't really matter. I turn build immediately off. Um, I might explain it to you guys one day. Not right now. You guys don't need to know right now. I have reset both camera axes. I don't I don't know what it does. I, I generally don't. Vibration off, of course. These settings don't matter. Now, this is new. 1.9 build multiplier. 
with an insane edit it mode sense all right 2.5 on the edit mode sense it trust me try it get used to it play it for about a day crank around you know get to it trust me try it it feels crazy my edits have never felt so smooth i think i'm 16 years old again all right there's a four year difference in that 43 43 on the look horizontal speed two percent boost the boost is something slight i i prefer boost some people don't i don't know ads now i finally did change it i went from six to nine you might be asking why did he change his ads he fried he fried what's he doing there's recoil in the game now the flapjack the new mk the combat smg you got to up the sense a little bit so that's what i did i went ahead and just got it going now look at this man look dampening gone and we're i let you guys down i turned to the dark side i went back to linear i know expo so good i know i know what you're saying i hear you but linear is just it's so smooth man and i have been moving recently i've been moving 10 ted dead zone foot controller because i don't know what it does i just keep it there and then accelerate with thumbstick of course i have that now these are my audio settings everyone's audio settings different i use low sound quality 3d headphones there's nothing too crazy going on here just going through them keyboard and mouse i'm just gonna scroll through this nothing too crazy i'm just gonna let you guys see it. if you guys want to copy my binds you not copy my binds it doesn't matter i'm just gonna go through it anyways here's all my building binds some people say they're kind of weird i edit with v whatever don't care don't care okay don't care all right let's go through the controller binds this is where we're gonna go through all my binds my paddles all that good stuff so just off the rip if you guys want to know what my scuff instinct paddles are set to these are different they're not all four like lined up in a way one paddle is on this side and i'm trying to like get it serious and see one paddle is here and then one here so i use one finger for both of them so for this paddle which is my uh my bottom right paddle technically i use jump and then for the top i use sprint and then <laughs> my bottom left paddle is my switch mode and my pickaxe so if, so if you see toggle pickaxe that's that's on my uh, top left and then you know all, all that you guys understand the point i'm gonna go through these real quick you know nothing too crazy um emo edit with left stick switch modes b toggle pickaxe like i said those are on those are on my back paddles oh did not mean to go that way didn't mean to do that uh nothing nothing too crazy here to be honest i honestly didn't change much in these settings it's just my edit edit really that's like it and then i confirm with rb reset with lt actually i reset <clears throat> guys get you a freaking scroll wheel man stop i don't i don't even use lt anymore it's just there the bind is just there get this scroll wheel okay you will feel like booga the next coming of booga link down below man use my code save some money come on get to it bro ability controls there's nothing going on here bro ain't no one using these no one's using these bro dead zone you guys already seen the dead zone but i mean that is it that is it guys i will let you guys know a little secret my game everyone's like oh it's so colorful what's going on what's going on why does this game look so good how do i get my game this colorful he doesn't use colorblind guys i'll let you in on a little secret a little tiny secret a lot of people don't seem to know it or they don't think about it you know if you have an nvidia graphics card there's a nice little place called the nvidia control panel and if you go to adjust video settings there's a nice little spot that says digital vibrance i cranked that thing up to 65 and my game looks beautiful look at all that color in my game man i mean who else's game's looking like mine for real so make sure you guys go put that vibrance on try these settings i'm telling you this editing sense feels so good i mean look at me i'm 14 again bro i know i said 16 last time but we're 14 now it's over it's over for the competition but i hope you guys did enjoy the video this is all for me I love you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.